Okay, so a couple things I need to let you know. I will not be selling this Good Seasons um, uh, salad dressing bottle, this vintage bottle that I like it, which is good that I do, because when I was kind of taking pictures and stuff of it the other day, the top, I mean, it's still attached, but it's real loose down here and cracking, and I'm not going to sell that. I mean, if I got something like this, I wouldn't be happy because I would be thinking that's going to pop off any time. So I'm not going to sell it. I'm just going to keep it. And if it comes off, fine. I mean, no big deal for me because I liked it anyway. And this coffee, instant coffee um, pottery um, made in Japan. And I found that little when I was showing the video the other day, I decided not to sell this um, because it's got, I don't know, it's like a little abrasion. It's not even really a chip. It's like the paint just came off. Somebody scraped it off or something, um, rubbing it against something. So I'm going to use it as my little kind of um, eBay, Etsy, you know, pens and scissors and things, my little tools that I need. Um, that's what I'm going to use it for. Okay, so I'm not going to sell those two things, and um, this I'm not going to sell, but I did buy it. I picked up, a, I'm doing better. I just picked up four things today when I was running an errand and kind of snuck by Goodwill. <laughs> I didn't really sneak by it. I just try not to tell everybody how often I go because they're like, oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, if, if you don't know what this is, this is a uh, plant waterer. You put the water in down here, and after you water your plant thoroughly, um, if you don't want to have to water it quite as often, um, once you water it thoroughly, then you fill this with water and then hurry and stick it down in the soil, and the water will stay in here and just release as the plant as the soil starts drying out. I have a prayer plant um, that I'm hoping I don't kill, but it seems to need water, and I probably need to put it in a bigger pot is what it is. It seems to need water about every four days. So I'm hoping this will give me, because I'm used to watering my plants about once a week. So I'm hoping this will give me an extra three days, and that way I can water it when I water all my other plants. So. I am keeping that. I paid $2 for it. And uh, that's what I picked up today. So let me show you the other three things. There's this set of, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Adagari, Adagiri, Adagiri. Um, speckled, hard embossed mugs. They're, all, they're very small. But if you drink like espresso or something um, and you don't need a big mug for your coffee, or this could be a nice little tea mug, uh, tea, tea cup, not really. It's not really a tea cup, but you could use it for that or espresso or whatever. Um, but they're cute. I mean, I love this. I'm not usually a heart person, like I've said before, but you know, I just think these are very different. Um, I saw four on eBay, four of them, a set of four. Um, someone had them listed for $19.99 plus shipping. And I, um, you know, I, I tried to find, there were no other ones like these, and I couldn't find that any had been sold or any of these had been sold. I hope that's a good sign, although... I don't know, maybe the one that's got four on there for $19.99. I need to look and see when they were posted or whatever, you know. I don't, I'm not sure if that's high, low, I, I don't know. I need to do some more research, but I paid a dollar each. So $2 for the set of two. And then I thought this was cute. There's so many people that love Disney, and this is a 3D Tinkerbell mug. 3D. She actually is 3D. It's Tinkerbell. Disney, I don't think there's a date on here. 
I tried to look at it before, but I paid a dollar for the mug. And we know if you go to Disney or to the Disney store, which it looks like maybe this is, this came from a Disney store, um, you pay a lot more than a dollar. So I, <clears throat> I only found one on eBay and I think, hmm, <clears throat> I'm not sure, I can't remember. It was somewhere, it might have been $19.99. Somebody might have had that priced as $19.99 so, or somewhere around there, $18.99, something like that. Um, I will probably, I paid a dollar for it and I'll probably list it for be, between like $14 and $16.99 is probably what I'll do. Maybe a little bit less, maybe $12.99 um, because, you know, people do have to pay shipping. Okay, so that's it from today. I This is really video seven of my uh, two cart full uh, thrift store haul from last week. I still have a few boxes to go through. Um, oh, before I get to a few of those things, this isn't gonna be a super long video today, at least hope not. Um, and my camera that I was using the other day, I have lost my memory card. It came out and I didn't realize it. So, um, I just grabbed my phone real quick to do. This is a Hartown Associates uh, ink by George's Brittard, Brit, B R I T A R, or no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Briard, B R I, B R I A R D. It just says Japan. I think he was kind of a, a ceramic and glasswares designer back in the 60s. I saw two, and I actually got this, and I'll show you this too. I got two things over the weekend at one thrift store, just these two, and I thought I would wait to show them, you know, till I had more to, to show. Um, but I saw two other items and one I carried around in my cart and then I thought, no, I'm gonna put it back. I don't recognize that name. I do, but I don't. And then in the back of my head, I kept thinking, oh, I do, but it just wasn't coming to me. And I was kind of in a hurry and didn't have time to look it up. I should have bought it. I took it out of my cart and actually put it back. It was a little dish and it looked like it was from the 50s and 60s, but I know someone said Target is, you know, replicating, you know, mid-century stuff now. So, and probably other stores are too. So I was hesitant about getting it, but I saw two other things, a chip bowl. It didn't have the dip bowl with it, but that and, an, and that it was like a little dish, candy dish, nut dish, whatever. And I should have gotten it, but I didn't. Um, this, is and it is ceramic and the lemons i like it i thought it was different the way the handles are here part of the platter i paid four dollars for it 3.99 and it there's not one like it on ebay i mean there's other stuff like his that's a little similar but not exactly like this so i need to do more research on how much, you know, I probably will ask, um, but I'm thinking somewhere between, just off the top of my head, um, 18 to 25. But like I said, I need to get, do a little bit more research. So this is vintage, uh, 60s, okay? And I just thought this was so cute together. You know, the, this is a tablecloth and I just thought, oh, they're both yellow and green. It's all springy. Okay. This doesn't really have a smell because if it had a smell, I don't know if I could have bought it. <laughs> but um, I paid $3, $2.99 for this. It is a 72 by 102 tablecloth. I think that just doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem like it's long enough for 102. Maybe I added wrong. It's 
think I measured, that's not 102, is it? Let's look and see, shall we? Because I don't want to be wrong. Let me fold it in half again. I thought I measured it correctly, but, you know, I've been up since 6.30 this morning and been going, going, going all day. So I want to make sure that I have the correct measurement. I might have re me measured the wrong side, along the wrong side. So let's see what I've got here. And the, this should be close enough, hopefully. All right. So we've got, yeah, well, 36 and 30, it's six foot. So that's 72, okay, so 72 long, yeah, because I knew this wasn't 102, there's no way, it's not big enough. Good thing I bought a lot of tablecloths and caught my error. Um, 72 by 50, what is that? Around 50. Is that right? Doesn't sound like the right measurement. 72. Yeah, 72 by 50. I guess that would be our right. My problem is I can never get an oval tablecloth anymore. I need an oval tablecloth. So it's hard to do this when you're doing it by yourself. Looks like more like 50 and a half, and I'm, this is an estimate. So we'll say 72 by 50, not, or 51, whatever. Um, so I doubled that and I shouldn't have, I wasn't thinking. All right, so I paid $2.99 for this, and it's, of course, daisies and butterflies, a lot of white, yellow, green. But I just, Thought it was really nice, nice tablecloth. It could be vintage, but maybe not. There's no tag that I have found on it so far, but it's nice thick broadcloth and you usually don't find that in tablecloths anymore. So it made me think it might be vintage. Okay, so um, next thing, this scarecrow guy with the, the crow and the tree, um, it says made in Japan. I paid a quarter for it at that big, huge two-part haul last week that I got. Um, but it's made in Japan. I wonder if that sticker came from something else because this just looks to me like somebody created, you know, made it ceramic. But I think it's cute. It's very cute. Um, I'm very tempted to keep it. There's a couple little small, don't want to really want to say chips, but just little, yeah, yeah, little teeny tiny piece of paint. I don't think you can even see that. At the bottom, there's two. And here I am shaking, so. Um, anyway, I thought he was cute, Mr. Scarecrow. This I am going to keep because I have a black cat. I have two other cats too. I have three total. Paid a quarter for this guy. And so I just think he's too cute. I've got to keep him. Got to keep him for Halloween. So I'll be keeping that also. And then, um, you know, I'm big on trivets, trinket, trivet things. And this is like a um, trivet, hot plate, um, but they made it to hang. It's got initials A and then Yule, Yule, <laughs> U-L-L-E on the back, but it is ceramic, ceramic tile. But, um, if I were to keep it, I might take the, the leather off, the leather hanger and just use it as a hot plate little trivet um it says a dollar 25 but i actually because of that discount that day with my big 
two cart haul. Um, so I paid 75, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I have to do math. 60 some cents, 62.50, is that right? 62.50, I don't know. I can't think, I've been up too long. I'm exhausted, I'm not even gonna try. I'll let you guys try. What is half of a dollar twenty-five? What's fifty percent? I'm not even gonna try. My brain is fried at this point. It's been going all day. I'm ready for bed, and it's only about quarter till six. <laughs> okay, this is Texas Redware, and honestly, when I first looked at the back of it, I thought it said Texas Techware. And then I thought, no, that's not it. And then I thought it said Texas Tedware. And then I finally figured out it says Texas Redware. Um, it's not, as you can, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit humped. It is pottery. It's not perfectly made. Um, it, it sits fine. Um, and it's Christmas, joy to the world. Some Texas Redware, I saw it, um, of course they were folkware, a couple plates were listed in the 60 some dollar range. I could not locate this, this was not on eBay, this particular Christmas Joy to the World. Um, I'm going to do a little more research, but let's say I probably, by the comps and the prices for this pottery, uh, it seems to be well liked, or at least enough that I'm probably going to go be somewhere between 30 and 50, um, but I just need to do some more research. Um, I paid 50 cents for this, so, but it does say Texas Redware. I don't know if you can see the stamp or not back there. Might be too far away. I bet you can't see it. I'm not zoomed in enough, probably. Okay, I think that that is it for today. So not a whole lot today, which is good. At least it's not a long. I had to take a break yesterday, and I think Sunday, too, I had a little bit of a bug virus um, for about three days. So I had to take a break. So... I hopefully will be back again tomorrow with some more of that big two cart, two carts I was pushing and pulling around the thrift store last week.